Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Keisha. Toners are beautiful products that can deliver a multitude of effects on your skin. Everything from hydration to exfoliation to other types of acids. And just as there is so many different types of toners out there, there's also a number of ways that you can actually use them. So if you find that the toner that you are using is not quite giving you the right results, today I'll be sharing with you three reasons why your toner is not as effective and ways that you can fix them to get the most bang for your buck. If this is your first First time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel I post a lot of skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, let's get started. Disclaimer, not every single skincare routine needs a toner. A toner is a liquid, and there are a plethora of different serums out there, cleansers out there that can deliver a lot of those results as well. So a lot of the benefits, I should say, as well. So you don't necessarily need a toner in your routine if you want to shorten up your routine and simplify it, but it's a great option to add as an additional step into your routine, depending on what you're trying to achieve. The first reason why your toner may not be as effective is because you're not applying it correctly. There are generally two ways to apply your toner. One, by putting it in the palm of your hands and patting onto your skin. And two, by using a cotton pad and wiping it on your skin. Now, based on what you're trying to achieve out of the toner, one or the other will give you the right result. The decision of which one you use mostly is based on personal choice, but the effectiveness of the ingredients will change based on how you choose to apply them. For those who have oily or acne prone skin, the toners that you'll gravitate more towards are usually those that contain BHAs, tea tree oil, those type of acids or active ingredients that really help you deal with the oiliness, acne on your skin, as well as clogged pores. For this reason, you may find more beneficial for this reason, it may be more beneficial for you to use a cotton pad. Things like exfoliate acids like BHAs, for example, are better used when you soak them in a cotton pad and press them onto your skin. This helps it apply more evenly on your skin, as well as it avoids you having to use your fingers as much when you're touching your face. So switch to a cotton pad and you'll see better results with your acne specific toners. Now, if you're someone who has normal or dry skin or even mature skin, you will be most likely looking for more hydrating toners. For these types of toners, a cotton pad will absorb a lot of the product, and that's not exactly where you want your hydrators to go. You want your hydrators to be on your skin. So if this is your goal, if you're looking for hydration, you'll be better suited to pouring it in the palm of your hand, patting both of your hands together, and then patting it into the skin to make sure that all the hydration stays in your skin rather than wasting it in a cotton pad. The second reason why your toner may not be as effective is because you're waiting too long to apply your next ingredients. Toners are liquid or aqueous solutions, which means that they evaporate quite quickly. When you apply a toner on the, on the skin, the purpose, the premise of the toner is to prep your skin for the next step. We've all seen those videos where you put oil on a sponge, it pretty much does nothing. You put a cream on a sponge, kind of does nothing as well. But when you put water on a sponge, it absorbs it. The water or this aqueous solution is prepping your skin for maximum absorption of your ingredients. So when you're applying your toner on, you should only be leaving on your skin for like five seconds and immediately going into the next product. By waiting too long, you're gonna let this evaporate or dry out of your skin, causing those creams and those oils to not even penetrate your skin pretty much whatsoever. So apply it while your skin is still damp and you'll get better results out of your toner. The last reason why your toner may not be working is because your expectations are too high. I'm sorry, it's just a toner, it's just water. So there's only so much that it can do. When it comes to exfoliating acids, those is my personal favorites when it comes to toners. I love using exfoliating acids to just quickly exfoliate my skin, especially if it's something like a mandelic acid or lactic acid that can also be hydrating as well as exfoliating. However, don't expect it to give you like your complete skincare regimen in this toner solution because there's more to your skincare routine than just toner okay toner is great for hydration i specifically love using it for either hydration or exfoliation but beyond that keep your expectations at a decent level your skincare routine is more about the rest of the products that you apply especially your skincare abcs as well as your sunscreen so keep that in mind 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know what are your tips and tricks for using toners on your skin. I would love to know. Click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you, lovely ladies and gents, in my next one. Bye.